<gasps> there we go. I think that's the bigger one too. How's it going everyone? Bo here from PZ Hub. We're in the Roosevelt Mountains here. A beautiful map. I mean, speaking of the Rocky Mountains with all these uh, mountains around us, how about that? But I'll tell you what, one of the toughest things when I first got on this map, because uh, it was one of the first maps that was available to me during the press release of this game, was figuring out where the towers and the tents were on this map, and it actually took me um, a, ra a rather long headache to figure out where they are. But I'll give you a hint. Most of the towers are along this river here. If you just kind of walk around this river, you will find the majority of the towers are around this river. It's really quite simple. Um, as you see one right up there now the thing about roosevelt and uh you know in comparison to pawnee uh, meadows or something like that is that not only does it have towers but it also has tree stands and so you'll find tree stands spread out uh, along the map um which are very much hidden and you know it will take quite a while to uh, figure out where they all are speaking of how big this map is and you can kind of just walk from end to end looking and trying to find a camo camouflage tree stand somewhere but i'll give you a hint one is right here go ahead and grab that one for you i hope it's in the same spot when the actual game comes out but as far as the campsites go you know the good thing about them is that they allow you to fast travel in different areas of the map and so you can see if I want to hunt over here I can go to this tent if I want to go over here I can go to this tent um, tent here tent there tent here you will find them kind of in the different areas of the map so there's gonna be one in the bottom left corner bottom right corner um, this one happens to be in the middle but this one's in the top right and this one's in the top left just to give you uh, an example of something that you know allows you to get around a little easier and then once you get a tent it will tell you that you got uh, tent one out of five or stand or tower one out of five um, and so then you'll know how many more you need to look for so that is very important there but the trick of finding your campsites is rather quite simple let me get to one of the campsites and I'll let you know how I got there but in the meanwhile let's check out the whitetail and mule deer seeing as though this is the press release of the game whitetail and mule deer haven't been seen too much so let's check them out here on the Roosevelt forest map okay well I finally found a mule deer Lay down. Another male there. See, the funny thing is, is that I was actually going... I actually found some type of deer way over here along this uh, lake over there. And I was on my way over there, actually, right there. They're so far away that I can't spot them, but... I want to say by the light color, there's a bigger one behind him, but I'm guessing they're whitetail? I honestly don't know. But anyway, I was on my way over there when uh, I saw this tree stand over here, and then I was like, well, that's cool. Another tree stand. Those things are kind of hard to find. And then uh, there's a bunch of deer right in front of it, so that was kind of lucky. <laughs> and now that I'm down here again, I don't know where that darn tree stand went. And where's my dog? Don't tell me this is the one time I didn't bring my dog. Anywho, there we go. A nice sized mule deer. How about that? It's actually, I like, I mean, the antlers don't look like a mule deer to be truthful, but, you know, whatever. Nailed it in the heart, though. That's pretty cool. It's a mature mule deer at that. A mule deer. Adding an extra L in there. Let's go see if we can uh, get over to this lake really quick and try to get a shot on that other deer. Depending on... I don't really know what it is, honestly. 
but it had some pretty decent sized antlers. And uh, I already had a whitetail in the lodge because that was the one we shot during the tutorial. But we will see what we can what we can get up here if I don't run out of sprint so fast that uh I'm not able to get over there in time to get a shot on this dude. Let's see, that's one of the uh, the towers there. We're gonna have ducks and geese start making a lot of noise here soon. This binocular, these binoculars, they just they zip all over the place. Fly away, so we don't have to deal with you anymore. <gasps> there we go. I think that's the bigger one, too. Good shot. Ooh, my goodness, I thought we lost him. I'm glad we didn't. These Rocky Mountains are no joke. <laughs> it is difficult to find things, and I found that the best way to do it, um, the best way to go about it, is basically go up on top of a, uh, a mountain. I particularly like these ones right here, this one right here, and then this one all over here. Um, stand at the top there, get a nice uh, 10 by 42 binocular, and just scan the area for for deer and stuff. You know, pretty realistic, honestly. If, uh, if you have access to a mountain, I do not, being here in Kansas. Um, so yeah, we have a white-tailed deer. Has the same antlers um, as the mule deer, unfortunately. But we'll bag that guy. He's honestly only an adult, too, versus the mature mule deer we shot. But at least that gives us an idea of what the mule deer and the whitetail look like in this game. Kind of similar in size, the adult versus the mature, but let's get back to the tents and the towers and I'll explain how to easily find them in your own game. Alright, I've got my old hunting dog here and oh, I can see there is a tent right up there at the top of this hill. How about that? That's pretty cool. And it, oh, wow. Look at this. There's a little uh, a path of sorts going straight up to this uh, tent right up here. How about that? That's kind of nice to have a little path going right up to the tent. Makes it kind of simple to know where to go up to it. And I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's on purpose because if you go down into this map here, you will see that there are these dashed black lines that go all the way around the map and they'll lead you around all over the place and they will lead to tents and sometimes they'll go past towers as well as you can see this one over here this one actually went past this tower here so like i said very simple i mean it's, it's as straightforward as that there it is you know follow these black dashed lines and you'll find them on every single map they'll lead you to your tents that will allow you to fast travel to every part of the map that you are wanting to get to as quick as that quick and painless just follow the dashed line from your cabin here all the way down to your tent and then you'll be able to have that fast travel point to use on your future hunts very important similar to the outposts in the hunter call of the wild which allow you to do the very same thing hope this was helpful as it took me a little while to figure out and uh, i figured you know it it might be a useful video to make and uh, hopefully not too long either but i do hope it helped you comment down below if you thought it was helpful and if there's anything else you like to talk about about this game maybe i have an answer for you i'm not sure but it's worth a try like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and you would like to see more and that's gonna wrap it up thanks for watching everyone as always keep gaming never stop Beagle knows something's up. Alright, pheasants. I'm ready for you.
Anytime now. Feel free. Bloop. One pheasant down. <laughs>